Welcome back, guys. I'm Mel Seven. This is Football Manager 2018. We're back with our journeyman save. We are the Rux Chorzów in Poland. Um, continuing on, we had that spectacular win last time. So that left us in first place in the league. What happened since then? Well, spoiler, we're not first place anymore. <laughs> and in fact, Arca seems to be running away with a little bit, although we do have a game in hand on them. You know, so we could consider... Cons we could potentially be within about four points of them. So how did it happen? How did we let it all get away? Well, it's a long story. So we finished off with a win against Olympia right after that last one. 2-0 win. We all played pretty well. You see a lot of sevens in there. We've got goals from Fuentes and Maximilian. Slightly rotated save here. You can see we did run Loris Mar. Um, and that was okay. Then we went back on. We had uh, Radomiak Radom, who's not been very good this season. And, um, yeah, I mean, the difference really was this own goal. You know, we tried to get back in it late, but just weren't able to. And you can see the defense was just horrible. Loris Mar played a 6.8 and was injured. Kormenicki got the own goal. Nothing from up front. You can see Kunka played bad. Frazier played bad. Fuentes was bad. Max Million was bad. Essentially, we played everybody. Um, you know, all the subs for two games. Well, I won't see all the subs. We gave everybody a chance for a couple games against what were supposed to be bad teams. Um, and then we had uh, Raz Vosh, Raz Vuj, maybe? Raj Vuj? We're just going to call him Raj. Raj Katowice. We're going to go Katowice. I think that works fine. Um, and again, just not working. We, we were back to Kornicki and Starzinski. We are you know, uh, we had Barocco in on this one. We had Laboco back in this one. You know, this was this was the all-star lineup here. And we just couldn't get it done. Um, they got a goal towards the end, 70th minute. You know, it was kind of a boring game, and we, we lost it towards the end. We came back with a close match against, um, oh my gosh, this is going to kill me. Podbeskidzi, Bielsko, Biala. Um 3-2, we scored a goal, they scored a goal, we scored a goal, they scored a goal, we scored a goal. And by we, I mean Oscar Frazier scored the goals. He had a hat trick. He was great. 9.5, you can see. Again, back to our regular lineup. Um, Strazinski wasn't great, but Kornichi played much better, 8.3. Laboko played a 6.8. Okay, maybe. Now, we still um, had Loris Mar in initially. Um, I th well, no, I guess we must have subbed him. We must have subbed him. But we still were running just, we were running Frazier and, and Max Million still up there. Um, no, I take that back. We we started with Lorimar in here. And we subbed Barilko in. We took Lorimar off, put Strazinski in, and brought Bar Barilko in. Um, and for, for Maximilian in an attempt to keep this one going. Um, and we're unable to do so. And we did something very similar here. Um, yeah, we did the same thing here. Um, we, we tried to give Lorimar a chance. We tried to give Maximilian a chance, and it just didn't work. And we ended up subbing him out, um, trying to get something going. The only noteworthy thing here was um, we got Laboko um, – from Vidzuludz. Um, this was his team. So he went home um, to the team. We He left and got a goal against them. Um, away. We got a draw. I'll take it. It's not spectacular. Um, so we are going to come back here for a home game against Vorta Poznan. And I decided to come back against them because I had picked out their logo as being one I thought was very classic. I really like it. And I still really do. They're in fifth place. It's a meaningful game. We're at home. We do have a little bit more kind of drama in the background. Um, we were told that a rich, um, you know, Scrooge McDuck type um, was going to buy the team and dump millions into the team. And then we were told that a consortium led by an ex-player was going to buy the team and dump lots of money into the team. Well, we've got a little bit more information on that just before this one. We see that this consortium is now targeting Rux Chorzuf for takeover. I don't know if this is the same... Um, if all of this is the same group, because you can see here it says the Bucharest-based consortium led by business tycoon um, Livu Guli 
is reported to have stated the yada, yada, yada. Um, so it says that there's a business tycoon involved in this consortium. So everything is either said tycoon or consortium. I don't know if these are all the same group, if it's a different group. It's a $475,000 takeover bid, and they're going to put up to $120,000. Now, I don't think that's going to mean a whole hell of a lot when they've got $4.8 million in debt. Ooh, 100000 You still owe $4.7 million in debt. So how it affects us, though, is that until this ends, there's a consortium or consortium. There's a moratorium on transfers or embargo, whatever words you want to take. So no transfers. We're not going to be able to make any moves as the season, you know, until this happens. So if the season ends and this isn't finished, we don't know what's going on. So I already more or less planned on leaving Rox Chorzu for the end of this season. But I think this, unless something dramatic happens before the end of the season, with this finishing and significant funds being put into the club, I think we probably stick with that rule. We walk away at the end of the season. We call it a day. Assuming things stay as they are, this would be the third team in a row that in our second season, we took to promotion with a second place finish in the league. We're consistent, if nothing else, as far as that goes. I think we can be extremely pleased with the, draw, the job that we did at Rux Chorzuv, considering the team that we took over. Um, the team that we had, um, like I say, could, switching the work rate and stuff around. Now, we saw that there were still some issues, right? We took a hit on both technicals and probably physicals as well to improve the mentals, or at least two specific mentals, our determination and our work rate. Um, and it wasn't until the mid-season um, here when we picked up Barilko that we really started to see this paying off, that we, that we kind of started to fill in some of those technical gaps. And we were able to kind of, with him, unlock the brilliance of Frazier, who we've seen bits and pieces of, um, but we hadn't really seen a lot more out of. Um, but I think really, you can see here, he's third in the in the league in goals, only two goals back off of Can Conrad Novak, who, who is spectacular. Um, you can see an average rating. Frizo and Milo are both in the top three. Milo's also up there for players of the match with five. I think we've done a good job. So no matter what happens, even if we don't get promoted, if we don't get promoted, it's a much harder decision. Let's table that. If we get promoted, we're done, unless something crazy happens and a bunch of money gets dumped into it. If we don't get promoted, it depends on what happens. It really does. I could stay to try to get them promoted. I could easily say that this is my favorite squad that I have coached so far in Football Manager 2018 right now. Um, this year's this second half squad right now, even though it's been a little up and down, um, I do really like this squad a lot. I could see us staying. But for now, we'll, we'll table the rest of that conversation for now. Lorimar did get injured, so that does clear things up a little bit for us. Uh, I'm going to put Coscon in since he's not a foreigner. Um, I did move um, Platek down to the under, to the reserves, I believe. See if we can get him some play time. He's not getting it with us. Um, he's just not very good. Um, I also put Kunka back down here. He hasn't been getting a lot of play time. It says average rating is 7.3. I don't know what these games are. <laughs> we haven't seen that much. He's not getting a lot of play time for us. So we moved him down. We'll see how it goes. Um, but that means that for the moment, we have a fairly small team, which I, I prefer to be honest. Um, I kind of like 12 subs, so at least when, you know, we can put enough players in there. But for now, I think this is okay. We've got center, left, right in the back. We've got defensive attacking mid. We've got striker. We've got left. You know, we don't even have left, but we've got all the positions covered here on the deal. We've only got one foreigner in the list, so we don't have to worry about subs. We make any sub we want with what we have here. Let's go with it. Let's play a match here. We are at home. They're going to play a little bit wider than us. That is fine. Let's see what we got going on. Encourage the team. Um, we're doing okay right now, morale and stuff-wise. I'm not, not worried about that. We Encouraging's not going to hurt, but it wasn't necessary. We could have told. We could have demanded if we wanted to. Um, so, yeah, let's see how this one goes. 
essentially the same lineup you saw for the last game. So, you know, we experimented a little bit and learned that we shouldn't. That's what we learned. Two minutes in, we're down a goal. Um, it was a nice, pe nice set piece, nice, I think it was a header. Um, Let's watch it again here. A little, it was a throw in. In, got a header on it. Oh, he should have had that. It went right through his hands. He went, oh, just could have pulled his arms in and pulled that one in and chose not to. Ah, well done by them, but poorly done by us. Would have liked to have seen more from Adrian Hanger. Um, if this team were to get promoted, they really probably need to upgrade. We need to upgrade Adrian probably. Um, the rest of the team, I think, is solid for now. I mean, some upgrades would be fine, but what the weak point would be, I don't really know. I don't know that there's a huge weak point that you'd go, oh, that has to be it. But I just think that while this team would probably be able to stay up if they got promoted, you you need a good goalie, I think. And that would be uh, an improvement that would, would have to happen. Um, so you're not, you're not dropping goals like that on a team that may not. There we go, in for Freezer. Yeah, and we're back in it, beautiful. Crossing from Kornanichi to Freezer, and we're back in this one. There we go. That's that determination showing off for the fans here at Rux Chorzuf. Gregor's Tabor feet sees he's just out there by himself, just out there by himself. Hmm. I have a friend playing something called Adam, ancient domain of mystery or dungeons of mystery. Anyway. One of the little Steam pop-ups that hopefully you didn't see. Because, you know, God forbid you see what my friends are playing on Steam. Um, but it kind of bugs me when I see other people's streams and it's there. It just seems a little bit unprofessional, I guess. And quiet after that. Uh, one all. We're only up by about three points, so we can't... I, I think we have a game in hand, but... Um, we are only up by about three points, so we can't really afford to slack off too much and maintain second place. Um, I really thought we were going to close some last time because Arca, um, Arca had a draw last last week, and I thought that was going to be a chance, and then we got a draw too. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably a fair conversation. Um, nobody's playing well. Strazin of course, now that I no longer have any subs for Strazin we have a sub. Um, let's let's give him a little bit more time. Um, Barocco's not looking great either, but Barocco's not there to look great himself. He's there to make Freezer look good. And for the most part, when he's in, Freezer does look good. So I'm not going to argue his ratings too much. He wasn't instrumental necessarily in this goal, but any game in which Freezer scores, I think we can pretty much guarantee Barocco was doing his job, even if he didn't get much of a a ratings boost out of it. Got a little knock there picked up for Chudna. All right, let's see. We need to play some defense here. He's offside, back on sides there. We char oh, there we go. Kormanichi charges up. Freezer had the run at it, but he decides to just give up and let Solovej get it. For the Pofiak, feeds that one up. The Boko's there, though. Broco sits on it, does a good target man job, holds it up. Everybody gets in position. Then he kind of charges forward, and, and I don't know what we were doing with that. That was a pretty poor um, pass in. There was nobody there yet. Broco was going to be there in, a, you know, five seconds or so, but he wasn't there yet. Milo out to Kornanichi. Okay, Tabor into Gregors. Gregors sits on it for a second, finds Milo. Milo going to go outside. No, he goes into Freezer, back into Gregor's. Oh, there we go. Barocco, one touch. <clears throat> there we go. Barocco's going to help himself out there. Fans and the reporters are upset that Barocco doesn't score quite as many goals as they accept, expect. But like I say, I'm, he's not there for goals. He's just there to be a target man, to hold up the ball, to set up the play. We've seen a little bit of this match. And if he gets a goal every once in a while, so much the better. And there he does. Beautifully done. Goalkeeper feels bad, and he should. He probably should have got that. He kind of sucked in, and he should have gone big. But he was worried about five-hole. This isn't hockey. It's not five-hole. He could have... Harder to squeeze a... Oh, Milo just takes it away from him. 
Oh, come on. That was terrible, though. And then Tabor doesn't work for it. Sakura's back on it. We worked so hard on one end just to give it back. Oh, my gosh. That was bad. That was... We're going to demand more. That was terrible. We worked so hard here only to give up here and not even try there. I'm re That's terrible. We need to we need to light a fire under their ass if this is the type of play that's going to continue. He just doesn't try. He backs off. I mean, there's somebody there. Okay, on it. And we just watch it. We just, oh, hey, his jersey's a different color. That's a nice looking jersey. We like that. Oh, wait, he scored. Ah. We've got 12 shots versus four. But they've got two goals. Um, we got to do something. I'm not sure who who's failing there, but we're we're gonna make a sub. We're gonna put a massage out there for for Straczynski on the left. Doesn't really. I'm not sure Kormanichi's playing great either. Let's put in Vasilewski. I really like Vasilewski. We've seen very little of him here. He's not spectacular, gifted, but it feels like he usually gives you his best. Um. I don't ever feel bad putting him in, even if he's not going to start very often. Especially because the captain's been so good for us this season. It's it's really hard to put somebody else in. But but on an off day like today, up to Freezer. Come on. There we go. And we get back and get this thing. Not a very spectacular play. Just a very workmanlike. Fed it up through the middle. Took advantage of a little gap. They, they were slacked a little bit on their defense, I think. They're Leboko up to Gregors. Back to Milo. Back up to Gregor's and just kind of finds a little gap there. They didn't leave a big gap. Freezer manages to sidestep a guy when his back was turned to move in. He probably should have sidestepped it himself to get it. I mean, the defender did. Um, but that's okay. We need a win, and an ugly win is still a win. Um, I mean, we've dominated. 62% possession, 15 shots, but only six of them were on target. And we have created one clear cut and four half chances. Um... The shots are there. The chances are there. We just haven't quite been able to finish this season or this game. Um, that's that's essentially it. Um, and then the defense has had just a couple little letdowns that have let some goals come in that probably shouldn't have. Um, Barocco? Oh, I was going to hope he was going to get two goals out of that. Put this thing away. A lot of time at the end of this one. Let's see. Come on, Malkowski, get that field. Oh, that was kind of a hard back pass. Um, oh, that was a mistake, though. barocco has got it on the in-game ends. He might have been able to catch a charging freezer there to get another goal. There was a couple seconds left. So we got the win. Um, we're now six points up. Everybody's played 29. Um, six points up over third place. Probably means we're going to be okay. Um, but we're still four points back of Arca. So most likely we're going to probably sit where we sit. Um yeah, I think it was. I think it was a bit of a... Even if some of them have done poorly. Um, Wasilewski, that's not on you. You came in and played well. Barocco, I don't know. That was... That backfired, but I think was a, an accurate reflection of the game. Um, vintage display. Uh, we're going to let the assistant do that one. Freezer shines. Two more goals. Um, does that put him at the top of the league there? For goals? Let's um, Let's take a quick look. Puts him top of the league, at least tied with Conrad Novak. Um, also top of the league for average rating. So not too shabby. I think we can live with that. I think probably we're going to just kind of chew on through here to the end of the season. Maybe we'll come back for Bytovia, Bytov, um, Bytov, excuse me. Um, we've seen a lot of them over the, at least it feels like we've seen a lot of them throughout the, 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 the series. Um, but let's finish with them last game of the season. And, uh, See what's going on with the takeover. Are we still going to be in second place? All that good stuff. Um, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more. And on that burp, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Cheers.